Hi folks, Philip Andrews here for the Photoshop Elements team and one of the great things about working within the organizer space of Photoshop Elements is just how much power we have to quickly and easily manage our images. For instance, look at this group of images that I have selected here. There's some that are parts of a panorama, so there's a series of images that have been shot in sequence as part of a panorama. There's other photos that have been shot of the same subject, but in slightly different ways. And right at the bottom here, I have the same image, but processed in several different ways. As our catalogs get bigger and bigger, having images displayed in this way can mean that it's harder to find photos of a given subject. So one of the things that we've had in the organizer space for a while is the ability to select a group of images. Here I'm just clicking on the first image using the mouse and then holding down shift and then clicking on the last image to multi-select several images shot on the beach, different subjects but shot at the same time. And then I can go up to edit and down to stack and then across to stack selected photos to group all those images together in a photo stack. Now this takes up less visual space in my organizer and if I want to see all the photos in the photo stack I can simply just click on the right facing arrow that you can see here and all of the images are then displayed. If I want to close that photo stack up again I can just click on the left facing arrow to close them all up. Now going through your whole catalogue and making photo stacks of similar images or images that you've processed from the same starting photo but have slightly different changes can take you a while. So in Photoshop Elements 10 we've introduced another way to help you organise your images that works along with these photo stacks. So if I go up to the Find menu and then down to the By Visual Searches option you'll see that we have a new entry here called Search for Duplicate Photos. If I select that, then Elements goes off and groups together the images that it thinks should be in a photo stack. You can see it's done a good job here where it's grouped these two images together, but it's separated these two out which should have been in the same photo stack and the same group. So we can just simply select and drag this image up to the other group and now they become candidates for a new photo stack. We can also check to see if there are other images sitting in our unique photo section here. That is the photos that Photoshop Elements thinks shouldn't be part of a stack. And we've got one image here that is a good candidate for this photo stack. So we'll just simply select it and drag it up and drop it in there. Close down the photo stack section and then just click stack to stack those images into a new photo stack. Again, here we've got two images that should sit together. The performers were performing on the same night. So we'll bring them all together and then just click stack. Look at the next one down. And it's the photos that were all processed from the same base image. Only very slight changes. And you can't even see them here in the thumbnails. But it was slight changes in texture. So important to keep them. But we want to stack them all together. So we click stack. Then we've got the images down here and all of these images are part of the same photo merge project. And these are the base images for those photo merge project. So yes, it's important for us to then stack them together. So we can just click stack to stack those. Looking towards the bottom of the dialog, you'll notice that we have the ability to remove images from the catalog. So if we go back to this photo stack here, select it to start with and then click unstack so that it's back to the original images that we started with. They're no longer in a photo stack. We could pick one of those and remove that image from the catalog. But be warned, taking it from the catalog means that you will have to import this image into Photoshop Elements if you want to see it in your organizer workspace again. Also, if you choose this option here, also delete selected item from the hard disk, it will delete this picture from your hard disk and you won't be able to get it back. So just be very careful when you're clicking remove from catalog. Make sure that they are indeed a duplicate. And sometimes it's a little difficult to see that when you're looking at them in this small thumbnail version. So it's a good idea to double click on the image and have it shown in a larger version so you can double check that this is actually a duplicate. I'm going to click back now to take us back to the main interface and I'm not going to delete these images from my catalog at all. I'm just going to select all of them and click stack. Once I'm happy with the stacks that have been created, I'll just go down and click done to actually add them into my organizer. And you can see them created here. Here's the stack of the duplicates. 
and here's the stack of the photo merged source images.